decide right now to find something to appreciate from any seemingly negative person or situation and develop the habit of giving compliments. See, if you really want to have some more positive feelings in your life, you got to keep focusing on what's right. You got to get curious. And most importantly, you got to find something to appreciate even in the tough times. Because in reality, as we've talked about so often before, the toughest times in your life sometimes provide you with the real resources to change your life. So what we've got to do is find something to appreciate. Not someday when things work out. We've got to appreciate where we are right now. And this is something I talked to my daughter Jolie about today. Because she's in an experience today where I thought, well, gosh, she's not being very positive. And I'm going to talk about positive thinking. Because she came in to see me and she's feeling really sad. She's feeling really down, feeling really frustrated. And you know what her problem is? Her problem is she tried out and won the right to be amongst three girls who dance in the electric light parade at Disneyland. And that was about three or four months ago. She's been going there after school every day, driving from San Diego up to Anaheim burning herself into the ground, getting up and going to school to be a straight-A student still, and trying to visit with her family and her boyfriend. And she found herself maxing out. Now think about her problem. Her problem is that she gets to be at Disneyland and fulfill a childhood fantasy. Her problem is that she loves her family and wants to be with them as well. Her problem is she loves to be at school and really do that. Her problem is she has so much abundance that she has to figure out how to get it all in one day and she can't do it. And she's physically burning out. That's her problem. And you know what? She says, gosh, I want to be home. I want to be with you guys and all these things. I, want, I don't want to miss out on all this great time we have together. I want to be with you guys. I said, but honey, look what you're doing. She goes, yeah, I, well, I don't want to miss out on Disneyland either. I don't want to miss out on my career and what I'm doing and what's going on. What's the problem? The problem is she's finding out what's negative in both situations. She's focusing on what she doesn't have instead of what she does have. Now, I could be negative about that and say, gosh, be more positive. But you know what? In reality, I realized... Being negative in this situation may not be bad. What do I mean? I don't mean being negative. I mean being intelligent. I mean being critical in your thinking. Seeing what you don't have is sometimes useful too. This is what I promised you in terms of the power of negative thinking. Here's how negative thinking can be useful. I sat down with her and I said, honey, I said, let's look at the advantages and disadvantages of both. Let's not just be positive. Let's look at it. The whole thing is positive. Let's know that no matter what you choose, you've won. You have what most people dream about. But for a moment, let's be a little bit critical. What do you love about Disneyland? What's great about it? What is it giving you? And let's ask the question that maybe we don't ask very times when we're just being purely positive. What isn't it giving you? What are you afraid about? What are you missing by being there? What's great about being at home more? What's great about those things? What's not great about that? Be honest. If you were there, what might happen that's not good? What might you miss out on? And you know what? By getting her to use both positive and negative thinking, or to be more accurate, positive thinking and some critical thinking, Looking at what isn't there for the moment, what she is missing out on, and allowing that pain to motivate her, she was able to clarify what's most important in her life and what's the best way to do that. And she came up with a plan that totally empowered her. And after a couple hours of conversation and fun, she looks better than she has in about six months because she's finally resolved what's most important. And sometimes just being positive and keeping a stiff upper lip isn't enough. Sometimes you got to stop and say, I am positive. I'm going to approach this from a positive way. I'm going to stay in a positive state. But when I ask some questions some people may think of as negative, which is, what isn't working? Because if you're not willing to look at what isn't working, you can get yourself in trouble. Find out what's working, but also appreciate what isn't working. Appreciate it enough that maybe it creates enough pain for you to want to make a change. Hey, being purely positive all the time is not the ultimate solution. Being purely positive 98% of the time to me is the solution. Remember our steps. Number one, you're going to focus on how it really is. And that's what we did today. Jolie and I sat down and said, let's see how it really is. And that's not just be positive. Let's stop for a second. How is it really? What's good? What isn't good? What's great? What isn't great in this context? Everything is great, but comparatively, what's great? What's not in both situations? Now, how do you really want it? And she decided how she wanted it. Now, what are we going to do to make that happen? And she began to take actions that have changed her life. Probably will affect the direction of her life, maybe even her career. And she feels joyous and excited. Because she went through the steps. That's the balance between positive and negative thinking. But one thing you got to remember, you're going to spend most of your time being positive. Once you see how it is, that's it. Decide what you want and make it happen. Don't keep going back and saying, oh, yeah, but it's not working. See, balance doesn't mean you spend 50% of your time positive and 50% of your time negative. Remember, balance on a human scale is a little different. Negative experiences are dense, and it doesn't take a lot of those focuses of negative to weigh a lot in your life. Make sure your focus is primarily positive, but at times, at special times that you designate, you're going to say, hey, what isn't working? 
and allow that pain to drive you to do something that's very positive. That'll change your life. One way to make sure you're negative is always trying to be perfect. Because you know what? You're always going to notice you're not because you're this thing called a human being. When I talk to my daughter, Jolie, I mean, this girl works so hard to be perfect. Everybody seems to love her. She's a straight-A student. She wants to be the very best at school. She wants to be the very best at home. She wants to be the very best at Disney. She wants to be the best at everything. And I'm trying to be the best constantly. In the past, she always noticed what wasn't perfect, and that created pain. So you can't do that. You're going to screw up. You're going to be negative. Things are going to happen where you don't follow through on what you know. You're going to make poor decisions. You're going to say things you shouldn't say, do things you shouldn't do, mess up like you shouldn't mess up. But you know what? When that happens, instead of being negative and beating yourself up and saying, boy, here's another example of me sabotaging myself, decide what you do want and say, you know, I'm not perfect, but I am good. And what makes me good and what makes me great and what can make me excellent is as soon as I notice I'm not on track, I correct it and I get better. Your goal each day is to get better, not to be perfect. And that's all anyone can ask of you. If every day you really try and contribute more, be more, and do more than you were slightly the day before, that's all anybody can ask. And if you know you're going to screw up and you don't make it a catastrophe, it's easier to bounce right back up. See, the only way you fail is if you quit. But if you learn something and you expand from it and you make some new decisions that enhance your life and the people you care about, then there is no failure.